Sponsors for Stolat with Anya are Stolat Bar, a restaurant bar featuring European-inspired cuisine, 4475 Transit Road at Eastern Hills. Cruzchiki Bakery, combining old-world European treats with modern-day fare in Lancaster and Eastern Hills. Are you interested in featuring Simply Pierogi on your menu? Perfect for your restaurant or venue. Contact us today. Events by Stolot. Planning an event? Host it with us. Transit Road in Eastern Hills. And Pierogi Pete's, now open at Casey and Transit Road in Amherst. Hello everyone, it's Anya Dushan. Welcome to Stolot with Anya. It's cooking, conversations, and cocktails. On this episode, meet my beautiful mom. Find out what it was like growing up Polish, coming to America, and enjoying the blessings of Buffalo while sampling a traditional favorite. My son Cody is at the bar as we sample something that is pretty and pink. Then meet a local writer who turned her life stress into success with good advice for you. We have a place for you at the table from our beautiful location at Eastern Hills. Welcome to Stolat with Anya. Stolat. Hello everyone and welcome to Stolat with Anya and my special guest today, extra special because it's my mom. I forced her today to come on the show. She is usually behind the scenes and we are just so excited to have her on today um, to talk about some of our special times that we've had um, at our dinner table. Um, our favorite thing was to make, my mom's favorite thing was to make was open face sandwiches. So today we'll be um, creating all sorts of fun little open face sandwiches that um, I always remember Gosh, my grandparents would make them for my sister and I all the time, and it was just so fun to um, see what they would come up with next. So we have a table filled with a lot of great goodies, and my mom will help me create some fun open face sandwiches today. Let's go do it. Yes, yes. welcome, Mommy. Yeah. I'm so it's happy to pleasure. have you. Oh my gosh, it's a pleasure to be with you. Yay. <laughs> I love my mommy love so too, much. Okay, my let's mom. do it. Yes, so I'll talk while mommy starts to slice some baguettes for us yep. and some bread. And I'll make some of my favorite creations and mommy will make hers. Um, but yes, my mom is just so extraordinary. She really is. She has- I try to be. Done so much for our families. So I'm sure so many of you have heard this story, but I have to mention it really, oh. really fast. Um, when my parents left Poland in 1984 and they went to Germany first. They left my sister and I back in Poland um, while they um, tried to figure out life or where they would go next and they ended up in Buffalo, New York in 1986. And, um, and here we are today. But we'll talk about some of our fun times that we've had. <laughs> um, I Which always, one? Which one? Yeah, well, we had a lot of great times. But yes. we, we really, my mom and I, we like to cook, but we don't love to cook, get like really nitty, dirty, you know, we don't like all the dishes. <laughs> Usually we push daddy. But daddy is the best cook. Yeah. So we really no like question. to make our sandwiches. Um, and our open face sandwiches can really be made with anything. Um, so you're going to create your my favorite, your favorite, okay? And I'll create mine. Whatever so you remember, plate. you know. I so what I always remember. So I'll start with mine because I like a little bit of mayo. I don't I like too much. But I always remember going oh. to my Bobcha's house and um, just waiting. What would be my sister and I would just wait to see what they would have ready on the table for us. Um, they were always so colorful and creative. And, you know, we would literally just look around and go, who's gonna have this one and who's gonna have that one? Yeah. And, and what's so nice about these little open face sandwiches is that you can have a few. So it's not like having Sorry. one. Yep, you can do whatever you'd like, mom. The movie, baby. What do you think? Yeah, I'm gonna grab some cheese right now. Yeah. So I'm mommy's making um, and a ham. bigger ones. Yep. And a ham, yeah. Okay. Sorry? No, that's okay. And we're gonna go like this. 
So we used to do a lot of different things. So like I said, we'd go to my grandparents' house and they would make us some favorite um, lunches. And then um, we actually, in Poland, um, you know, when I was like seven, eight, really, since I was an infant, my parents would take us to um, summer camps because they would run summer camps. And, and again, they would just create these wonderful creations. Um, and it was just so fun. So what did you love about oh, going summer camp and, okay. you know, spending... We are like a teacher, so you were, we had you a were, few you were months teachers, off, right? Yes. So that means we are running like a summer camps. Yes. And we had uh, like 100 80 to 100 exactly. kids in, and everybody loved just up and up sandwich. <laughs> so we were so busy. So you it was know, just so nine. fun making all of yeah. these. I love that. It's just such a, um, it's a very European thing. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go like Make this. sure you eat less carbs. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually, oopsie, my sleeves are dumping my stuff. Um, I love turkey, so, and I love lettuce. So I'm going to, Put a little bit of turkey lettuce and I love Swiss. Um, Grab a little bit of pickles. Pickles, I'm a tomato fanatic. Right. So, and I'm I think everybody like knows this. that here at Still Lot. Let's grate it with some already. And I like also this. So, yeah. a little bit chai. What you looking for, girl? I'm just looking what you're making. So, oh, come on. Because That's mommy's sandwich, bread is baby. bigger. She's actually doing kind of like a half and half thing, which is kind of neat. Um, <laughs> I love chives. Can I have some of those too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and oh, you know, nice when I, we never actually had, we didn't have avocados back in the Poland, but I am obsessed with salt. avocados now. Okay. I'm sure we have avocados now, we just, we didn't, we, we couldn't get them back then. <laughs> <laughs> um, hard boiled egg, fantastic with a, um, on a piece of lettuce. A lot of salt for me, because I love, love, love salt. Um, I wow, also y'all look great. I yeah, love I it. also love microgreens on mine. So oh, wow. the egg with the lettuce and microgreens um, is wonderful. I like a little and salt And remember, and it's always messy. That's why it, it is tastes messy, so but, good. But that's okay. Right. There's nothing right. wrong with messy. Okay. So, so I also, do. you know, remember when my boys were growing up, um, Cody, Austin, and Dylan, and mommy would be at the house when the boys were coming home from school, and same thing. It was just like a little tradition. They yeah. were always waiting for what will Bapcha and Jaja have ready, what, what kind of sandwiches will they have ready for us. Um, and, you know, that creativity really went a long way. Um, we love the freshness of it. We love the you know the good organic clean ingredients um and and really you can use any bread you'd like yeah mommy's right now opening um a platic, even though that's on a sweeter it's, side yeah it's like with farmer cheese yeah. and some jam on. so yeah my mom loves sweet sandwiches but sometimes they're using with ham too on we top do of we that. do so yeah. here at Stolat we actually yeah. have um our ham and swiss um sandwich on uh, Monte Cristo. We have it on yeah. our menu. And we use it with Plotzik because it's so great with ham So you want to Swiss. create it with ham? Sure, you can do or that. Me? And my mom loves, what, what's your favorite? Because you're a sweet kind of girl. Uh, always sweet to the baby. Yeah, yeah, I know, you've always had a sweet yeah, tooth. Yeah, That's yeah. how the bakery started, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, but but you how love come cottage. we are so skinny? Because we are so busy or what? We're busy, everything yeah. in moderation. Always. Everything in moderation. Right. But you loved farmer's cheese. Oh, I do, and, I love it. And um, cottage cheese with jelly. Yeah. And sometimes some fresh fruit. Yes. More jelly. More jelly. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. farmer's cheese and honey. That's honey super too. delicious yeah, yeah. too. Very typical so, Polish style. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I just think you know we we really go back and um, this really makes us kind of um, reminisce about what we. Um, no, I'm so proud of you, lunch. baby. You used to remember. Yeah. Oh my goodness, we still eat them all the time. And I know you, my dad. My parents live in Florida now, and my dad. Um, cooks all the nice meals but mama will make will we'll make the sandwiches again for uh, for lunch because uh well in florida we have amazing pros as well but 
Um, tell we me still keep Polish tradition, right? So you were so nervous about coming on. Yes, I will. <laughs> still. You are still nervous. Yeah. There's nothing to be nervous about. I love what you made. Did you put any mustard on yours? Yes, I did. So you put it on the one Just side? Just a little oh, bit on, on the side, yeah. Okay. I love that. Um, we also have, so, you know, some of the options here that we have, we have prosciutto, you can do um, any smoked sausage, you can do any cheese. I mean, really, anything that you have in the fridge that's the best part about an open face sandwich, that you can just put it all together and have a lot of fun um, creating and sharing. Yeah, especially together with kids, you know? And I mean, because the Polish tradition is, it's a little bit different in here because we're having breakfast, then we have a dinner yeah. around three o'clock, and then we have a supper, which we have them here, dinner, right? Yes. So the supper is always going with this created sandwiches and we are doing together with kids. So we had, in Poland, we had four meals, dinner, and then supper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. It's kind of funny, but um, we have our own little, you know, a little, little style yeah. of uh, The point eating, is too. we are working, when we were there, we are working together with you guys, okay? Yes. You created yes. the sandwiches. No, it was wonderful. And um, just wanted to share. We thought this was such a fun little segment. It was great to bring my mom here. Um, we are just, you know, I am humbled to know that I've been able to do what I do because of my parents and all that dedication that they have um, put into our businesses and life and their grandchildren and children and, and I love you so much. And great so grandchildren. And, and now, yes, of we are, yes. make a good announcement, Grandma. Oh, I know. Oh, so you we actually, that? I'm actually a grandma now because um, our son Cody just had a little baby, little Teddy, and we are just over the moon, um, so in love with that little peanut. So we, life is good. Um, Family time is so important, and um, I'm, I'm happy to be able to share this moment with you. Thank you, Anya. Thank you so much. It was good to see Thank you. Thank you. Until next time. Thank you. I love you. Love you, too. Here we are at Stola Bar behind the bar with Cody. <laughs> I love I love introducing Cody because of course he's my son. I say my favorite, but all my boys are my favorite. I just always tell him, but don't tell your brother. I told you you're my favorite, but you're my favorite today because you're making this, these great drinks. Um, super excited. We, we had Bapcha on today. Yeah. Your Bapcha. My Bapcha. Now I'm a Bapcha. You're a Bapcha. What happened the last few days? <laughs> We had a baby. We had a baby. Baby's here. Baby's here. Yeah, little Teddy. Little Teddy. Teddy um, is uh, named after my dad. And um, of course, it's a little boy. And he was eight pounds, six, six ounces. And yeah. wife Alyssa is doing great. She's great. Baby's home. Mm -hmm. And you just got right in doing the daddy thing. It's a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's fun, though. You said yeah. it was going to be fun. It's a lot it of is fun. fun. We fun. are so in love with that little peanut. He is so, so sweet. Cute. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I know. He made a he made a really perfect baby together. Yeah. Alyssa kept saying, "What if he's not cute?" I was like, "Let's oh. just hope he's cute." <laughs> he is so cute. He is cute. He's so cute. We got lucky. Uh, you are very lucky, and we're very lucky to continue to grow the family and yeah. our you know continue our traditions. And I'm sure Teddy will be at still lot soon, hanging out with his babcha, me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And uh, I know so many of our guests want to meet him. People have been so exciting, waiting patiently for baby Teddy to be here. So we will celebrate today with uh, a pretty and pink cocktail, right? Yeah. Okay, show pretty us what pink. you got. Yeah, so it's pretty much like a spiked mimosa, which is cool. Okay. So we'll use a different, you know, we'll use some lemon, some orange, pomegranate, peach, fun flavors like that. But you could really, you know, use whatever you want. Okay. But this one, I really like this one. This one... Gosh, I think this has been on the brunch menu since we started. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a fun name for sure. Yeah. Pretty in pink. I love it. Did you create this one? Bit. Yeah, I had a little help with from somebody. I can't remember who. It was so long ago. Okay. Like three years ago, right? Yeah. It's been, it's going to be, it'll be four years in August that we have been open here at no, Stola. No, three years. Three? 
four. Three. Is it three? It's okay, it's, it'll be three years in August. It feels like forever now. <laughs> We've had so much fun. Okay, it'll be three years. Really? Three years. Oh, okay. Dang. I don't know. We do so many different things here. We're always moving in in uh, in, in a di fast direction. No, no. No, no. I, I love to watch you do your thing. <laughs> All right, so we added a little orange juice yeah. to that. I'm wearing white, so pink might not look good on me. Perfect. So we are celebrating. We truly are just so excited. We're excited for our families, for the future, and for uh, baby Teddy baby to be here in this beautiful world of ours. We'll have to put him on a table talk soon. Yes. <laughs> you can bring him, um, bring a little pouch. He can be with you here yeah. while you're shaking the cocktails out. <laughs> All right, Woo! and then the last ingredient, everybody's favorite. Yes, a little bubbly on top. Yeah. Doesn't matter what kind you use. No, nope. champagne, Prosecco, whatever you like. All right. It is gorgeous. We'll be drinking um, and celebrating a table talk. Lovely. Thank you so much. You're Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, I love it, Cody. <laughs> Stole out, everyone. Stole out. My name is Anya Dushan, one of the owners here at our amazing European Lounge. We have three concepts under one roof. The major one is Stolat Bar and Restaurant. Once you finish dinner, you can come over and, and, and have a coffee or tea and, and, and something really uh, delicious and sweet. So we go from a traditional to contemporary atmosphere with our menu. Um, a lot of what we focus on primarily is European in origin, but we also take in consideration our own region and add a lot of buffalo flair to those different menu ideas. We wanted to have people walk in the door and, and be wow. Well, I don't know, be like wow. I don't feel like I'm in Buffalo. And we hunted down the, the right bar stools, the right chairs, the right tables. And, uh, this is a destination place. You come once, you'll come again. And here we are at our table talk. And my special guest today is Masuma. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. So we met um, a few weeks ago. Yes. Did we meet here at Stolat or at, at an event? At maybe? a women's event. Yes. 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 And you were just such a pleasure to chat with. Oh, thank um, you. You, just you too. Such beautiful energy. Oh, thank you. So, um, and then of course, you know, when we meet new people in our lives, you know, I always want to learn more and more mm -hmm. and. Um, and I was just so excited to learn what you've done. Um, I know you have a really cool story. You also immigrated here like yes. we have. Yes. Um, so tell me a little bit about you and then we'll kind of get into the, the, the book. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so I was an immigrant. I was born in Pakistan and moved to Iran. Then I lived in Ireland for okay. seven years and I moved to America when I was 10 years old. Um, so I moved every two years of my life till I was the age of 12. I'm from Fredonia, okay. so not too far from here. So <laughs> my son goes to college right now. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, that's August. awesome. Uh -huh. Yeah, so then, uh, you know, I moved back to Buffalo about four years ago. Okay. Yes. So how was it growing up? How was it when you moved here? Um, you know, at, at 10 yes. and, you know, obviously for me it was tough because I didn't really speak a lot of English. Yep. Well, yeah. we didn't speak any English. So yes. we're really about the same age. I was 11 when we moved here. Yes. So I know we have those a very similar story. Very yes. much so. I'm just, yes. you have the beautiful dark hair and I have the white, the blonde hair, <laughs> you know? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I always wanted dark hair. It's funny because when I was 24, I dyed my hair brown. Really? I'm like, I don't want to be blonde anymore. That's so um, funny. But anyways, we do have a similar story, um, you know, and the challenges that, you know, we went through as yes. uh, children and then of course the um, you know what our parents have gone through yes. to, even, to get a us lot. to this point right a lot yeah yeah I mean it's funny because when I moved here I was a 10 year old Pakistani with a thick Irish accent <laughs> so 
so people would look at me very confused, like, where are you from? What's happening? What's happening here? But yeah, it was a culture shock for me because American culture is very different than yes. Irish. Mm -hmm. uh, but I did speak English. Of course, they mm -hmm. do speak English yep. in Ireland. Um, but it was an adjustment for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. So then, um, so then what happened? <laughs> so you go to school. Yes. Um, I know you. Uh, you know you're a blogger now. Yes. Um, and you've have you changed your career off like a um, couple times, or is it you know are you at the point of your life where you're like, this is it. This is where I want to be. This is what I want to do. Um, moving forward, you know, because we do, we always, right. we change things up a little bit, right? Yes, we definitely. find passion in a lot of different things, but I think everything we do, we learn um, from all those, uh, you know, all the changes. Um, and I, I love what you're doing now. So tell Thank me you. where you're at today. What? Yeah. I was just so excited. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So I always wanted to be a doctor growing up. Okay. I did pre med, I studied biology and psychology in undergrad and then I went to med school and then anxiety hit. Mm. I, I was diagnosed with generalizing di anxiety disorder and panic disorder okay. uh, at the beginning of medical school, but then I was on medication and therapy, so it became controlled. And then after two years of completing med medical school, it became really bad again and okay. debilitating. Like wow. I didn't leave my house for a month. I was so scared of everything. I was. Um, having panic attacks, I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't eating well, I lost a lot of weight, I was just struggling, like, I, I just was not myself, mm -hmm. my parents were really worried, and yeah. then eventually um, I had to drop out of medical school because of my anxiety. Was it school, was it the environment, or just I life, think it was everything? Like, yeah, it was everything. Pressure? Yeah, pressure you know. from medical school, it's very competitive. Sure. There's a lot of pressure and at that time I was like, I didn't have a boyfriend and I wanted to get married. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like life pressures and then yeah. school pressures and all of that combination where I just wasn't where I wanted to be in life. Like I, um, I was studying for the US Assembly Step 1, which is like an eight hour exam. It tests your knowledge from the first two years of medical school. And there's a lot of pressure, a lot of yeah, information, I and I'm, I think, a little hard on myself. Mm -hmm. So I was putting a lot of pressure on myself, and that I didn't know how to cope. I didn't have the coping techniques. Yeah. I didn't even know what anxiety was. When I first had my first panic attack, I was like, what is happening to me? Yeah. I didn't even know what was happening um, because I never learned about it, and I didn't know what it felt like. Mm -hmm. And so it was a very confusing time for me, and then I just couldn't find the right ways to cope, and so. I had to drop out of medical school because it wasn't right for me. Mm -hmm. And then just a few months later, I started my master's program in industrial organizational psychology, which is like business psychology. Okay. So I finished that in like two years. Um, and then I wanted, I finally found things that worked for me and strategies. And I felt like I wanted to share that with the world. And yeah. that's when I went and did my TEDx talk okay and about overcoming anxiety because I wanted to I had anxiety for about nine years wow that's a long time that's a very long yeah. time so I did a lot of therapy I read a lot of books I we did so much research trying to find answers to sort of deal with these feelings mm -hmm. and I finally found things that worked and I just wanted to share with that with everybody because I felt very alone when I was struggling sure. and I didn't know where to turn and yeah. so I always say like if I can help somebody out there like provide a you know a guide for them or provide some techniques for them that can make them feel a little bit better mm -hmm. less alone or inspire them to let them know that anxiety isn't forever and there are ways to overcome it yes and then I went and wrote my book because yes so tell me was, about your yeah. book I'm so uh, I'm glad you are where you are today Thank you. and again Thank you. we learn right from yes. everything in life but yes. I'm so excited about your book I'm glad Thank you're doing you. amazing <laughs> tell me about your book so how did you come up with it? So yes. take your lunch break. Yeah, take your lunch break. the book. Thank you, yeah. Well, how, how did you get the idea to write the book? Um, so I actually joined a book program, uh -huh. which is kind of like being in school. You're kind of writing a dissertation where we had weekly classes and they take you through the whole book process, like how to write a book, what are the plots, what is the structure of a book, et cetera. And um, they have editors and things like that. And so I always wanted to write a book when I was a child. Like yeah. I wanted to be an author. I love writing, I love reading. And so I just felt like I had a message to share with the world. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to put in a book so that people had easy access to it. Um, I did all the research for everybody. You know, I went through all the, the 
you know the hard times and the struggles and so it just has a lot of different interviews from yeah. high-performing leaders from therapists from psychologists okay um, my personal story and it just has like everything jam-packed in like a one book so that you oh. can just use it as a reference or mm -hmm. a guide helpful tips for relieving work related stress yeah um, where can we find you where can we find a book yes. and I know you also have a podcast so where, where what is the name of the podcast I actually don't have you a don't podcast. have a podcast not yet, yet but You're maybe one day maybe one day <laughs> Ooh, I love it so that will be on know. next where can we find a book so you can uh, go to my website www.masuma m-a-s-s-o-m-a-a dot Com, and uh, you can find me on Instagram, M A S S O M A A. And um, yeah, I mean, it just, it's like, it took me four years to write it. It's a passion project. I put my heart, blood, sweat, and tears into it. And I hope that it helps people. It has helped so many. And I just hope people enjoy it. Oh, I can't Thank wait. You. And I know you said you, you, you mentioned you'll have an audible soon. So yes, that, that's right. That's, that's what that's you're what thinking of. Yes. I'm looking for the audible. Yes, um, I'm working I on the to audible. while we're driving. Yes. But thank you so much for thank being you. here. What thank a wonderful you so story. Much. Thank you. You're so much. amazing inspiration, so you. too. Thank, <laughs> thank you so you. much. Thank Until you. next time. I would like to thank my special guest, and of course, Cody at the bar. For all the recipes and information on the show, go to our Facebook page and our social media. Thank you for watching us, Still Hot with Anya. Until next time. Sponsors for Stolot with Anya are Stolot Bar, a restaurant bar featuring European-inspired cuisine, 4475 Transit Road at Eastern Hills. Cruzchiki Bakery, combining old-world European treats with modern-day fare in Lancaster and Eastern Hills. Are you interested in featuring Simply Pierogi on your menu? Perfect for your restaurant or venue. Contact us today. Events by Stolot. Planning an event? Host it with us. Transit Road in Eastern Hills. And Pierogi Pete's, now open at Casey and Transit Road in Amherst.